I mean, it is recording. And uh, it, first of all, man, thank you so much for doing this. I was buzzing since, uh, I mean, like three days. I'm, I, I was going through your website and I was losing my mind, literally. I mean, the, the, this, uh, uh, co first of all, can you tell me your last name? Because I, mm -hmm. I kind of go Sebastian about the, the, mm -hmm. what, how do you pronounce your last name? Well, my last name is a Basque name from Spain mm -hmm. and it's called Belaustegui. Belaustegui. Okay. So Sebastian Belaustegui, documentary photographer. Let me just run through this thing. Uh, Corazones Unidos. I, I'm not saying this correctly. Ah, Corazones Unidos. Yeah. There you go. That project, I was, I was crying yesterday for an hour, man. I was watching this thing. It oh. was just, oh my God. I mean, like, it, I mean, I'm so happy to find this out. Everybody should go to, the, to, to this website. I spent four hours yesterday. Then you go and do Guardians of Time, like uh, portraits of, 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 uh, of uh, spirit of, of Latin America, eight countries, 25 indigenous people. Then you go and do Africa in, in uh, Africans in America. Then you go and do tribal people of Asia. I lived, lived in Bali for a couple of years and I missed you. I mean, I, I was not here when you were here. We're like, I want to fucking just, ah. Then you got published in National Geographic. Not only published, but it's a cover. I mean, literally, this is the first time I'm meeting somebody, looking them in the eyes, who actually accomplished this. It's like meeting a unicorn. Then your workshops. I mean, you're changing the chemistry of people who are who are attending this stuff. I mean, it is. I mean, it is so amazing. And then, I mean, it's just night of the of the living souls which is like for me i, I want to touch that subject because it is just so beautiful and film you know what we're going into this recording i'm not gonna stop um uh, so so uh if you're happy with with how we started i'm super happy we just talk i mean the sound will be fine uh then you are a super nice guy on top of all of these things so man i mean like thank you so much i mean this means world to me i was literally shaking this morning to to to, to talk to you i mean like is it um, you know me being excited or it's like fourth coffee i don't know but please <laughs> let, let let's start at the beginning you know the moment when you, you when you decided uh that this might be the thing that you're, you're going to be doing for the rest of your life because you're doing this for the rest of your life there is no there's no yes. turning back now no let's no. go to that moment no. Well, first of all, um, let me know if you can hear me well. I can hear uh, as I am, um, I am at home with not very good internet, but if we need, I need, I will go to the roof where I can get 4G that is better than my internet. So sorry no, for that, but just. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay. Just, just uh, to make sure that if not, we can improve the connection by going to the roof. But it's not so colorful like here, okay? Don't worry about it. Let's go. I mean, uh, so the moment when you decide that this is the thing that you want to do, photography. Okay. The moment uh, I will say that I want to do photography, it is uh, kind of like um, how we, it became, it's kind of like a causality. I, 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 you know, it's kind of like, I like when Ansel Adams say that the picture that we take is the memory of the books that we read, the music like we hear, the things that we have been living, the things that was a land landmark in our life, and all that is a combination of what is your destiny and why you put that uh, meaning in your work. And I say that because, sorry, can you hear me? Yes. Your picture is okay, frozen. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, you know because... what? Maybe, maybe we should do this 4G thing because I mean, this, this, uh, this should be spectacular. So, uh, if you can go to that roof, 
I can go tomorrow to a better place, like with very good internet. Like no, no, it's just a little long. It sounds, it sounds good, man. Uh, let's, uh, let's today, see. Uh, today was can, my, was my intention to go there. Can you turn uh, on the camera? <laughs> yes, one second. Sure. Because, oh my God. Are you good? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like I'm carrying. It's crazy. I, I live in the middle of the mountain. Um, <laughs> I can see that. I live in Actually, a, in I can't a nice see that, place. But... I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you pictures, please. But in the middle of the mountain, the sea. Because now I'm gonna put the 4G. One second. Okay. You just gotta Let's have see to how the 4G. I'm and, framing. Uh, <laughs> frame, I'm frame. doing the framing <laughs> and I'm doing the lighting. Awesome! It's like this is oh amazing. I love this start, man. This is. <laughs> You know what? I know, I'm just crazy. gonna. And, and now I need, I, I need to see the, my, my my way of lighting because look what I have in, in the roof of my house. I live this in the middle is... of the mountain. I live where it's not the, where there is no any humans. So I really live wild into the wild, and 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 I love it. And I love it. You don't have very good internet also because I mean, oh, yeah. it's not like I love it. I just take it like it is because oh, sure. I. I I need internet for for living. One second, eh? Of course, of course. Just go I'm ahead. I'm gonna see how I can do the lighting. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool, man. <laughs> if it works. Yeah, it yeah, work? yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's that? working, man. I, <laughs> I could not have planned this better, man. <laughs> I love this. Okay, let me see. Now I, no, more light, you see? Okay. More light! So you're living outside of, uh, outside of town, right? Yes, I live uh, in an amazing house that I found in this town that is like uh, two hours from Mexico City. Uh -huh. that they used to live here before I moved to Bali. Yeah. Um, so I, I come back and I, 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 I buy a house, but my God. I buy, I buy the most wild house that is the last one and the only one of the end of, of a road, their road. Um, and it's just like a very powerful place. Very powerful place. Yeah, that's um, amazing. So uh, I think that you are pretty good there. It's good? The light's good? <laughs> no, you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Okay. Thank you, we man. Alive, well. Now. Cheers. This was the best start of the show ever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Cheers. beer, coffee, you know, the 13 yes. hour difference. So fuck. exactly. That, that, yeah. That's why. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> hey, so tell me, tell me about this, uh, the start of it, uh, the, 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 the moment that, that you kind of like go into you. We talked about Ansel Adams a little bit, but I mean, that moment of like, well, I'm going for this career because there is always a moment in photographer's life when they're kind of like going, well, you know what? Fuck it. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this. So walk me through that process. Well, I think back when I was seven years old, uh, mm, there was a kind of like a strong thing that happened in my family when I was seven years old. And I have three brothers, elders, mm -hmm. that they were political activists in Argentina in the 70s. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the three of them, they've been killed. They call the missing people of, of uh, the missing people. If you search, it's because the bodies, you know, were never found. So it's called the missing people. You lost three, more than you lost three brothers. Yes. Yes. Three brothers. They, they, they were like a very amazing activist, social activist, and they give yep, the life. I am telling you that because, of course, that uh, in one or another way, it have an impact on the way, like how you can be useful in the life as they sacrifice their life for a better, you know, human rights, whatever, justice and, and justicia and... So beside that, 
now we're going back to when I finished my high school that I went to the south of Argentina and I met these native people, the original people, indigenous people from south of Argentina that I have really no knowledge about them until I went by backpacking with my girlfriend at that time. And then these beautiful elders, grandmothers, they were telling me about this terrible moment that's called Campañas del Desierto. And that was when all these like generals, whatever they were there and killed them. So the people who was in, in, in charge of like the extermination of indigenous people, they teach me in my school that they are the hero of the nation because, because then we have progress and all that shit. So I was so frustrated when I went to that en encounter with a meeting with these people because I was traveling and backpacking at 19 years old. And then I say, you know what? I've been lied all my life with the wrong information. And at that time, I'm a very, very fanatic reader of Carlos Castaneda. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Carlos I Castaneda. Went through, I, I went through those books. Uh, like, yeah, I pretty much found them. Ex in, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's incredible. Where are you from? I'm from Serbia originally. But I've been Serbia. living in Bali. Yeah, yeah. I've been living in Bali for 20 years. You know, like I moved oh. to Bali in '98. So wow. we have like this uh, little bit of a connection because I mean, I, I kind of like went, you know, that war time in Serbia in the '90s. You know, like that's kind of like when I migrated. So uh, yeah. But please continue. I mean. Uh, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that point. Okay. And 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 then uh, after that trip. And then when I start to get engaged with photography, what happened with photography is basically my brother was into photography before, like a fashion. Uh, my sister also kind of like an artist. Uh, she's a filmmaker. So when I finished my high school, uh, I was, I have the possibility to travel to Spain. Um, my brother, we stopped him in, in New York and he was going to India and he said, Suki, you need to buy a camera. I say, no way. I want to have long hair and just play the flute and travel. I say, and then he pushed me. So when I went to Spain, I, I'm 18 years old, I, 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 someone told me about Morocco. And I decide to travel to Morocco and that blow up my mind because it's such a different culture. And I took my first picture ever when I just learned how to put the, the film in the camera. And then that's what, when I come back from that trip in Argentina where I was born, some people saw my picture and they were like, Sebastian, you are a photographer. You're done, yeah, um, yeah. I was like, hmm? and they make me an exhibition in the ACFA gallery. Um, I was like, whoa, and people love the picture. And I thought, whoa, that's not good. That's not bad. Traveling, taking pictures, because I am dyslexic. I have deficit of attention and I hate school all my life. So I cannot really go through any university at that time because my intellectual level never was very good, you know? So... The combination of finding photography and later on knowing about the reality of indigenous people that nobody teach me that in the school with the background of what like my life what happened with my brothers it's when I decide I gotta this is use it. these tools to tell the other side of the, the story that nobody told me okay and that's when I start to do my first long journey into Mexico at 22 years old in 91. So yeah, 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 yeah. without any idea, without any knowledge, without any... Was that connected to Guardians of Time, right? Th that is, that's that the is, beginning. That's, that's the, the beginning. beginning. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to talk about this project, about this Guardians of Time project, Portraits of uh, Spirit of Latin, Latin America. It took you to eight countries 
in 25 indigenous communities. Let's talk a little bit about it because obviously, like, you, I, I could talk to you for 14 days, but we <laughs> don't have the luxury of that time. Uh, tell me, the, the start of the, that project was obviously uh, how, how you describe. Talk to me about connecting to these communities, what happened to that project, you know, like that there is a, a completed project. So let's talk about this a little bit, you know, like uh, because there are 25 communities that you actually included into this uh, into this series. Well, yes, in the beginning, it start with the idea to document um, what still survived from ancestral life. In the beginning, Charles was the willing to go and live with indigenous people in Mexico to learn from them to start the, the long term school uh, of an experience that I, I knew I need to take the photography of my experience because once you go there and the way I communicate, living with them and bringing instrument, playing music, so we can kind of like communicate in a universal language and hook up uh, and understand each other a little bit. But I felt the obligation to take pictures. I don't want to take pictures, but I know I need to do that. I, 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 it was like a voice telling, that's your... So, all the idea is to preserve, or some way or another one, use photography to preserve that culture that I know they're going to be missing. They're going to be disappeared, banish them, you know? So, I don't have an idea about the book. I didn't have a concept. I was just into the experience. Yeah, I, I mean, was... the concept was must have been born later on, but 22 oh, years, oh, just, you oh, know, yeah. like doing this open-heartedly and you, you throw into yourself into something and then that becomes as you are maturing as a, as a, as a human, really. It, it becomes exactly. something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very clever. Exactly. That's <laughs> the thing. Like, the first... You no, know, but that's true. You have a very good point because... I knew for, I mean, the first years of this project that was Mexico in 91, in that same trip, Guatemala, but we are talking about five months into the fields, five months with $400, yeah. five months, <laughs> and all time. Tight. Jesus. Yes, but when you live in, inside of the communities, you don't spend money because there's no money used there. Uh, yeah, it's everybody on the same level, I'm, I'm assuming. And it's, it's, a sh it's a sharing experience. It's sharing uh, humanity, really. I mean, like, it just... Uh, I, I mean, I would assume that that, that, that that is what it looks like. Because, I mean, having my own experiences in this type of indigenous cultures told me that, you know, these, these are the nicest people. I mean, people who Absolutely. have the least are actually the nicest people. Uh, the, the most, the people who more share the most, who are the, who are the most open. So, exactly. so uh, that has been my, yeah. So I have a 22 years coming from Argentina, from a very, you know, a progress society. I'm having a crisis of waking up because I'm meeting uh, people that supposedly are the poor people, but I started to find little by little that that's the rich people that the people that not only you know preserve the traditions the tradition means human values you know what i mean like i started to see the activity of human values still alive the way they treat you know the earth the ceremonies like in bali like the way you know they were connected with with nature and i'm like you know Imagine, that's why we call guardians of time, you know, because imagine you are 22 years old, there's not internet, and my friends are in university or having great parties, but I am alone in the middle of the mountain in the night. Days are very long. Days are very long, and the amount of silence in your own presence, 
Miro, it's very strong. It's not Gosh. easy. It's not easy. It sounds it sound fantastic. It sounds like a aventura journey, like, oh, but... It's not that. No. This, look, at the 22, it is it is a massive, let, let's call it sacrifice. But, but, I mean, and I'm yeah. calling it that for a reason, because it's almost like a pro athlete. They start doing stuff when they're five, and then they reach their kind of like peak at 22, and everybody like, wow, he's young. I mean, he just started. No, he started 17 years ago. And at 22, to get into that introspection of yourself when you do have the time, when there is no internet, when there is literally kind of you... And the people that must be must be like in the retrospect amazing, but at times at 22 you're just man this is boring, <laughs> uh, and then you kind of like find another gear I'm I'm assuming. But uh, and then did you I, find I, I, another I, I, gear? I, did you yeah. find another gear of a of, of, of a human being that, that that you you will become? Well, yes, I I've been raised in a family full of love. I've been raised in a, a home with a long another story, but my mother was an, a very special person, and my home was um, a home that, from the dark, we live about my relatives that disappear, but in the same time, my mother hosts the most amazing artist people in my home, like musicians. Like Caetano Veloso, like incredible people. Oh wow! Um, so you grew up in that environment of, of of creative people. Yes, yes. Like the hippies, artists, rock stars, uh, rock star in, in in theater, actors. Like, you know, like I mean, like. Oh, it's just you, you, you. And uh, and and a lot of rock star musicians in my home, and I was a, I was young, so that. It's a vase of love that my mother can make it after dark times, you know. So when I approach these people, uh, I found like a family and they treat me like a family because I already come with a beautiful humanity background that my mother teach me and my father as well. Even he was a businessman, more conservative, but he was a very honest um, real man in terms of like values uh, and, and no corruption, you know? So the first experience of five months, I took 100 roles and I never studied photography. So ni 99, I remember, 99 roles of film produced in five months traveling and then I just was lucky to have my mother living in New York and I sent all that to the lab and I came to my house with like hundreds of yeah, these. Of the roles. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then I'm like, wow, what is this? And I am like with my loop, table, a light, cutting, framing, beautiful. Uh, do do you have these these frames still? Yes, of you course. Yeah, 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 okay. okay. I, I I very well conserved. Like all my slides still are incredible. Well, uh, I are archive archives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Eighteen years of analog of uh, slides are like very well until I I, I moved to digital. Um, okay. Wow. And then I went to Ecuador and I have an amazing experience in the Amazon, in the in, in the hills, in the mountains. But because my mother have a base in New York, I go to New York after another trip of four months. It's a quite a jump from uh, Amazon oh forest to New York, you know, it's, it's the my same God. jungle. <laughs> I'm talking like, about just... deep jungle, Amazon life, deep, deep. And from there... Boom, New York, you know, Jesus like, Christ. but what was that like? Actually, what was the experience like going from Amazon, spending four months in this silence, birds and all that to the to New York? I mean, 
do you remember the first day a little bit? Do you remember yeah. the first day? I, Tell I, me about I, it. I, I, I felt like I was in ecstasy because I can <laughs> open a fridge and I can choose food. And I start to be much more conscious of the lucky we are and how I was blessed in every everything. I opened the fridge and my mother, you know, New York, you have oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! so, so many things like America. Yeah. But and, and I, 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 I just was like, you know, like having 100 percent of conscious every I drink mate I'm from Argentina. I know like my mate with my toast, my honey, everything is like. And, so the, and I think, yes, because you came in from indigenous tribe, from basic, eating basic, eating like whatever Mother Earth give you every day. So it was an impact, of course. Um, but New York became my school. New York, it was without one, it became my school. And in what I way? Went to, Mm -hmm. So in, in what way? In one way, because I never, 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 I'm a self-touch photographer. Mm -hmm. I never took any class of photography. Me too. But I was feeling like walking in New York, going to see museums, galleries, wow. and, and books, and all that. I was having a That's lot education. of education. And then... What, what year was that? Sorry. Yes, 91 to 94. Basically, the internet was just starting. So the... the, the, the no internet. No uh, yeah, internet. yeah, yeah. So essentially no, no, walking, no, no, no. No, no, walking through those streets was actually the education. I mean, like, you know, go galleries, uh, the plays, I'm assuming, you, you have seen it all. So uh, yeah, that was education. That... No internet. That means, like, I say, okay, I'm going to do Mexico tribe. I fly to Mexico. I go to the Museum of uh, Anthropology and I get notes of the, I was going for the aesthetic, from the clothing, from the, from what's the color of, 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 of the, I call the ethnic fashion, uh, take my attention and I say, well, I'm going to go, but I, I didn't know, but I realized I'm a very, very aesthetic person. Yeah. And you can see that in my oh, photography, yeah, definitely. but I, I, it's came natural. All these like Rembrandt light portrait, and I say Rembrandt because I don't even know who was Rembrandt until someone say, "Look, your photography is very Rembrandt." I'm like, who is Rembrandt? Are you kidding? Rembrandt? Oh, who? Uh, Rembrandt? <laughs> but I didn't know who was Rembrandt. Sure. Because of course. I don't have, I don't have, uh, I didn't study art. I didn't study history of art. I didn't study. I study the life. Uh, and we. I think, we all arrive to that point, you know, like somehow. I mean, like every every photographer, I think that that has that 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 eye, you know, like which is pretty much the only thing that you cannot teach anybody is your eye. Everything else is a manual. I mean, exactly. Like, it's like that's it. How you get there is it this way, that way. Everybody has a process, you know. So the the process of having a portrait. That can become your master picture from whatever 20 or 40 shots you take. The process of conceive that image have a long background until you are able to create it. Because that going from back in New York, take the airplane to Ecuador, arrive to Ecuador without any knowledge of nothing start to walk around asking meeting people until someone told you no there is this tribe that you need to go here and then go here and from there you have a 24 boat until they blah and then i was like going 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 and that's when the moment and then you arrive and then you live be between them until they know you and trust you Man. How do you make a contact with them? Like basically, you you you, you change four boats, uh, eighteen birds, uh, you know, like all that. You arrive to the village. How do you go? How did you go about approaching people and actually kind of like asking to well stay with them? Just like a goal, you know, like a goal. Yeah, yeah, like like a goal. Just going, 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 want it and be crazy, uh, uh, and then be 
willing to do it. And then after the crisis of the first steps, once you arrive there, and then once you start to live there, I start to feel ecstasy again. After my, my fears go out and my crisis between New York and that is already bland. And then I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is, this is it, right? And, uh, and, and, and then I, I, I was taking the, the picture with the trust of them and the knowledge that Look, you you live you live among the people for let's say two months, three months, four months. You become yeah. a part of, of the tribe, really. Tell in me about way, that yeah. experience. In some, of course, in some ways, because I heard you say uh, in one of your videos on your on your on your website. And please go and, and and anybody just go there and spend hours. I mean, just it's endless. Uh, you said that you know, like you kind of like a tourist. You go into the the the, the places but you never kind of get in, really. And, and that caught my mind. Because, I mean, living in Bali, I'm a part of this. It's 20 years. But you're never Balinese. So tell me about the... Yeah, exactly. Tell me about incorporating yourself and life among any, 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 any group of people that you visited. I mean, I'm, I'm really curious about this daily life of, of yours. Because you need to help, right? You need to do shit. You cannot just go like, I'm going to stay here and I'm just going to take the photos and that's it. You are building a, a house with somebody. You must be doing stuff with, 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 with the community. Yeah, because the way I arrived normally was founded families that they adopt you to be with them. Okay? And then you just walk with them to the farm then you celebrate whatever they are celebrating and getting drunk in the, in the party, whatever, or just like the best uh, way to by meet the people. fire. Just live, live the experience. Once you become part of the experience is when you can start to take the pictures. And then that makes the sense. pictures go through your experience and the emotions that you create with them. Otherwise, that's why I, that's another thing. And when I, I, I did a lot of my last 10 years running workshop because, and it been very successfully, but not because. I will oh, talk, a, let's talk about the workshops. Uh, like, I really want to talk about this thing. But before we, we, we go into that subject, let's, let's, let's really talk about uh, the, 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 the daily life. Like one day, like you, you wake up with these, with these guys, uh, they adopted you. I mean, you were like standing in, in the front of the, you know, like whatever, town square and going like, I want to live with somebody. How do you go about actually approaching somebody to live with them? I think when you are when when you I were arriving finally by donkey or walking or a destroyed bus to the closer community because I I tried to search for places without electricity. I was always trying to search for the most pure communities. Now I will never I will not stay in the closer one to civilization. I will also trying to reach the more pure one. And when you are there, the same pure place adopt you. And people became, because they see me alone. I'm not with another guy. I'm not with a, like, when you see, they see you alone, they want to, they take care of you. They really want, hey, well, there's no fear. They're like, oh, no, I'm a traveler. I just want to learn. I'm just like, whatever. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a traveler. I'm, not even like a traveler because in that moment I was telling them that I I, I, I was uh, learning because I want to share that with my students and my students were my kids and my kids was something I need to put together because I was not a photographer so I don't want to say I am a photographer that means I come here to steal your soul yeah so you know what I mean and I, I, I and, and that's why I, I was kind of like telling something like I feel to tell and in later on I found that I was not lying to them I was telling the truth when I tell them I come here to learn so I can teach this to my students to my kids 
I don't have a, I, I'm not a, a, a teacher, but de- later on I became a teacher. So it, at that time, uh, I don't want to approach them like where are they were tired of, like anthropologists, photographer, so soil, you know what I mean? Like you, you said it. I mean, in one of the videos, I found this thing photographing someone is an attempt to portray their soul. It is to be done with love, respect, and dignity. And that is like that. This is exactly what you're doing. This is exactly what you are, what you're accomplishing, really. I mean, th- th- that's how I feel. I mean, I go yeah. to, when I go through all of these these photographs that you did and the, and the places. It just uh, you you are successful at this, you know, like uh, getting to. The, and I mean, success is a bad word because it implies some some kind of like a freaking money exchange. It's not this. You are able to connect to like. Okay, let's go to the, the actually the workshops because this is where I mean I was blown away. You're literally, I, I felt that somebody who comes to your workshop, their chemistry changes. Like yeah. you're seeing these people, like you know, I mean the, the workshop applies. We're gonna talk technique. You're gonna talk this. We're gonna talk that. I'm sure you are talking about technique, and you're you know I saw you like you know well probably not the best light move around, but that seemed absolutely not important you are actually able to transform your soul your vision of life really not photography to the people who are there Opa. yeah yeah no exactly well okay going to workshop is like going almost 20 years later of my life okay let's uh, my, my, my my workshop part of my life is after being 20 years into photography Doing exactly right? what we're talking about yes and i don't i don't i don't want to criticize people who became and take a workshop and then they're trying to have and run a workshop it's okay it's okay you do whatever you want but all i can know that i i am putting together an experience of 20 years to someone that i want to educate them not only in the aesthetic part of photography that is a gift I have and I am an artist uh, the way the lighting but first at all when I teach first than the ethic the, the aesthetic we go through the ethic in yes. humanity photography and I, I get and you we, I'm sure piss off when you are in a sensitive tribal place, and then you have a group of tourists arriving. Oh, good Jesus like, Christ. Hey, this oh, is geez. a no, zoo. No, 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 no. <sighs> Okay, no, but, no, but no, no. listen, I, 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 I was many times, I'm not a violent, I cannot have violent, physical violence, but many times I was so to be. pissed off and, and almost I discussed with so many people because I stand between them and the... And in, in the middle of the picture, hey, you're in my shot. No way. You go and say, please, may I take your picture? Uh, well, and then I start to discuss because, okay, uh, for, for example, with a French guy, what, what about if you are in Paris having your coffee and a black guy from Zimbabwe come and put your camera in front of you, take picture? You no. pack up and I, I send the police. So who are you to have to the right the to do the same shit, right? Anyway, when I start to do for, I start to teach photography, of course, I'm a very humanitarian photographer, and I I need to go through that. And I thought, okay, many of these people that I'm teaching next time, they're not gonna do by arrogant or unconscious or whatever that way to take picture. They're gonna approach in much more respectful way. Yeah, so, I mean, it seems that you you're doing exactly that. I mean, like all these videos that, from various various places, and like Cuba, the the the. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of places that you actually worked in. What were the places actually that, that these workshops were were going on? Uh, so mostly, far? well, mostly uh, I, I I work in. In rural areas, I work in, in indigenous tribe that I take people no more than six, eight. Yeah, um, which is a good number, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Only in Mexico I carry on Day of the Dead with sometimes 12 and 14, and it's like... It's a party. It's a party. Uh, it just... Uh, yes, I mean, a not party, a party, but I mean, you know, it, it is a language, festival. It's my festival. It's different. Um, but, yes, I... I, I I try to work with small groups and I don't give a shit if one of my students get a, 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 a what's, what's the name of this prize, a Pulitzer Prize. Oh, yeah, sure, what, sure. What, 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 what it really make my life, make my day and make my mission is when people come to me crying, tell me this is the most beautiful humanity experience I ever had in my life. That's and what I, I felt. Have, especially women, I have so many, so many in my life. I can say even hundred of people that in the end of the workshop are in oh, tears. Crying. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And and that's priceless, priceless. That is the that is the whole point of. Uh, I mean, if you if you're able to touch somebody's uh, soul, really, uh, they're human being, uh, and 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 not kind of like fully understand by the end of the, the class what the shutter speed is but if they're seeing this you know like the world and and have this contact with with, with people that that is that is the best workshop in the world i mean yes, like yes, uh, yes. technical stuff freaking youtube it man i mean there's any camera for free man i mean Actually. any camera like uh, 30 years ago camera now camera every camera there's a fucker who is explaining it Go there, find out in five minutes. If you're really interested, you're going to find out like this. And then that becomes really technicality of photography. This part is why you are good. I mean, because you have it. I mean, that, that's, that is so simple. And people are just lost in this technical part of it, which is just fucking YouTube. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. That, that, that's exactly the point. Don't come to my workshop to learn technical you can do that online in your home and cheap and uh, we we go to another level and the yeah. level of uh, understanding first the skills of observing of serving of serving and then of course through this i mean imagine dominic it's one example dominica republic and then you go to the city and then you take a work and uh, all these kind of like middle class rich people take the workshop and they never went to uh, uh, a farm where people from Haiti is, you know, working and a very hard life. But then you take them to them, you take them inside of the house and these are the most sweet people, welcome I... people. They want to give you whatever they have to eat. So what's the people, rich people from the city, they're like crying because they say, oh, we were afraid of these people and these people, <laughs> I mean, you Are know what I mean? Are the nicest, I know exactly what you mean. That's why I spent four hours yesterday on your website going through this video. After I saw them all, every oh. single one of them. Like I saw them like, I, I think like five times each. And, wow. and I seriously, I want to talk about Corazon Unidos, that project like that one really stuck with me it is the last video it's done in 12 uh, 2012 yeah. let's touch a little bit about this thing because and please explain what this is well in the period of my life uh, after the work i did uh, and because the work i did and because the book i published uh, guardian of time uh, work bring work right so because I dedicate my life to humanitarian photography, I start to get, uh, I would say, clients who want uh, who wanna me to be a, a, on a segment for magazine, for books, for social government programs. And, and, and then one government program from Oaxaca, uh, they contact me and they say, uh, listen, we are doing these social programs and we want you to be the photographer because we love your work, blah, blah, blah. And then one day I propose them, them like a client, uh, I, I say, listen, 
and we have this vision with a friend that why we not going through uh, a, a migration program that we they, they, they have funds that we can create this video that the kids as they stay alone in the middle of the mountains can communicate through teaching them photography and video and they will be the one who and and, and when I work for UNICEF for I mean, example Oaxaca being I, the place with the most migration happens from from ex- Mexico to United States that is exactly. the that is the fucking key thing because I mean you have families they're not together for three four five years there's this father it starts with a with this beautiful girl who oh fuck I, I, I uh, just a second uh, who lost her brother. I mean, I was crying, man. I mean, I, I promise I'm not going to do this now because it's not Oprah Winfrey. But I mean, I just, I, I don't know. This, this was a life-changing experience for me yesterday. So thank you for, for doing this. So let's continue. Uh, do you have any connection with them now? Is this that project that happened and then kind of looks, uh, you, you were, you were filming this children are taught to uh, photograph and that is the way of communication to their families so tell tell me about the idea of this project i mean like you, you did how but what, how, what was the gluing point of, of of this project well the gluing point is like uh, i got a very good uh chemic with a guy that i invite to to do the project uh osiris very nice guy very sensitive guy so I invite him and said, look, I think we can do this project. We don't need to charge too much money because this is not advertising. We're just going to go through what is good for you, good for me. Uh, and, and, and then we start to hang out and, and, and put ideas under the table, uh, in the table, not under. And then and then we finally decide like, OK, because I, 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 I was I was once in Venezuela and I met this this guy that he became my friend and he was doing a, a program called Venezuela through the eyes of the kids and I thought that's a fantastic idea because that's why I, I, I tell to I say that to UNICEF when I used to work for UNICEF I said mm-hmm. listen I'm happy you pay me to take pictures but I think we should train the children to be their photographers. Which is amazing. I, mean, I said to UNICEF that we should try to communi- communi- communicate through the pictures taken by the kids. But anyway, it, 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 it never it never happened. But what but but I, I have the dream and then finally I, I got the way and, and 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 we did that video that now that you told me that i think i'm gonna watch it because i didn't watch it in a long time and i, I remember think I was you so should happy. i think you should i think you did something i uh you maybe it didn't take on on the level that you wanted to and these art projects are so fragile that they almost never go to that like uh, worldwide level or country level but you did change the lives of a couple of kids who were exactly. communicating and that yeah. is I mean, that is all you can do. I mean, like, th- that was the only, only thing you can do. And look, uh, yeah, if you're doing this again, I mean, and if I can do anything to help with that, I mean, uh, I'm there. Let me know. Uh, I, I just, you. I was just completely, uh, it is such a pure and good project uh, to be a, it's just, ah, beautiful. Now, after talking about these things, I'm going to be selfish now and talk about one thing that uh, I'm really interested in, And that is the Night of the Living Souls and the uh, Day of the Dead. Um, that looks like so such an interesting day. So walk me through what happens. Like Bali has this preparational uh, and ceremonies that are, that are going on. Like Nipi takes a couple of months to prepare. Mm-hmm. What is the preparation part of of of, of this day for well, the people who are who are involved? It's it's not just masks. I mean, it's no, it's way no, way no, more. No, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. This is an ancestral tradition, and the mask and all that come later on, uh, and, and it's more related with um, a memory of of a, of a, of the deceased family family members and friends, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. 
uh, don't even come from U.S. People think come from U.S., but no, Halloween come from. Of, yeah, comes from. from Europe. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and 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 basically one of the uh, most beautiful tradition in Mexico is uh, that's why I. I don't like to call them the night. Or, 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 I, I call them exactly the, the night of the li living souls because in I Spanish noticed. we say the day of the dead. But for me, it's not the day of the dead. It's the that, night of the living souls. That's what I wanted to ask you because I have never heard it uh, put in that, that thing. And here is my, my, I knew about this. But then I, my daughter, who is three, one of her favorite movies was Coco. Oh, is, beautiful. I literally kind of like I was like I, I maybe she's two and a half maybe she should not be watching this and I was like fuck this is amazing the whole thing of putting the photograph and once your photograph is not there anymore your soul kind of goes to to a next place and I, I have literally caught this thing night of living souls because it was never never put in those words it's night night of a, of of of, of dead really. And you put it as night of living souls. That is, that is beautiful. So let's talk about this uh, days. Well, actually, I I, 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 I just sometimes come to my mind words because I'm not. I'm more into the image. But yes, definitely, um, it comes into in, in into my mind. Like, that's the name, you know. And then, basically, when I start to run workshops, I I, I start to and see different options of destinies um, um, as, um you know like and then one, one, one of them because I'm, I'm half mexican i live here my half of my life i decide that oaxaca should be one of the places and and then normally what i do i i go there uh, sometime one, uh, two at least two weeks before and then I started to search. In this case, I I, I think I, I I went one time before the, because I need to you know make a, a, a connections searching of places, people, families, uh, people that are gonna open us the the houses and the altar. So I I hire people. I pay them very well so they can be our talent. And yes. so. Uh, that's the same when I went to China, in India, and all these workshops. So portion, I, I, portions I mean, of the profit of, of the of the of every workshop obviously goes to the locals, uh, which is you know th yes. this is how it's done. I mean this is this exactly. is uh, you know so that, that I want to highlight that obviously we and, need and the money did, to did, eat did, and live, but yes. but uh, the the obviously the portion of this of these workshops goes there, which is. Amazing. Uh, go there, and when I start to run workshop that we did, it's a, it's a friend that lives in Bali, and you may know him, David Metcalf. I think I I, I don't David know Metcalf, him. David Metcalf is, is an amazing, one of my best friends in my life right now. Okay. I miss him, I love him, he's in Ubud, but he's not, it's not about the photography, but actually... It's not about, I mean, he does photography, he's a photographer, but the way and why I, he started to be my partner there is because he's really good to give back to the community the best way to help them, because help them don't mean to go and give in rice. It means how they can, you know, keep the tradition. He's the one who do the, the film indigenous festival, and he do all these like, music and dance festival before when when, when Bali uh, spirit uh, festival yeah. was he he's an amazing man and and for I example would, I would when love we to went meet that to guy. India we make money of course because we need to make money but part of that money we use that to sponsor a new generation filmmakers that they do documentary about a, a, yes. um, disaster with the way with the with the mines and and, and and you know like all these assholes and then they we fly them to the festival of bali and he's always very involved in non-profit things right amazing. without helping others uh, there's just nothing 
nothing ever happens really, you know. You can gather all the gold you want, but it's just not going to be enough for your soul. It's just, I don't know. That's how I feel. Yeah, you're right, you know, like trying to be useful, you know. All, all, all about this is how we can be useful and how really the first big layer is all your experience and the way you make it, but the the job is complete when you do the other layer that is how do you communicate and when you communicate and then and then you say the work is done yeah i mean it is it is a it is a quite a quite a little uh, thing that is you know we're all like i think that we're all trying to build some sort of communities where 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 you know like we will feel loved and we will love and share and and contribute obviously we are all you know like we're pros and you know this is how we're making our income and eat really but i mean that is kind of uh, almost becoming a, a side project of, of of everything it's just the, the 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 main the main thing should be kind of like building these communities and then actually putting all of these communities together because it just doesn't matter when i saw you first man it was instagram and you're like, get the fuck. I mean, this guy is incredible. This photography is crazy, man. However, I just started the Instagram. So I was like, I have like 120 followers. And this guy is at 20,000. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I love your word, blah, blah. And now we're fucking talking. I mean, thank you. But people make you an idealization of yourself. Like, oh, wow, this guy is famous oh publishing a geo oh blah blah i i, I know I, I i know how you feel i know exactly how you feel you know like i mean for i mean i'm i know exactly how you feel national geographic and all these things are in the past man i mean this is the present exactly and look there is no famous photographer i mean come on steve mccurry like uh, name 10 like Go to people, name 10 photographers. Everybody gets stuck on, on name number four. You get, they go Macari, they go Ansel, they, they go Sebastiao Salgado maybe, they go Annie Libovitz, and then kind of silence. I mean, Bresson and Kappa and all these guys, like that's good. It just, this is not done for fame or, or any of that no. shit, really. It just, it's love. No. It's just love. Exactly, 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 exactly. So tell me, tell me about uh, uh, th this thing again, um, uh, about the moment you're realizing you're a good photographer. The old concept beside good photographer, my, I mean, what, what is really like, it's a break in my, in my life. It's when I was in New York and I have this work and my brother like it, but me and my brother, my mother is there, like, I want to show the work. I will call Time Magazine. Say, Hello. Yeah, I just come from the jungle. You got to see this picture. And I really speak few words and bad words. You know, people yeah, might sure, think sure. this guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. You know, like how many thousands of photographers are trying to show the work in New York? And they've been polite and they will say to me, you can draw up your portfolio every Thursday to the mouse or whatever, you know, like, but I will call Time Magazine and I call every little magazine that I found, like a good magazine, but they found the phone number, I would call it. And uh, that's the way to go. Then, yeah, and then, of course, nobody put attention to see me because in New York, They're busy. right? They're busy. They're busy. But one day, I call the ICP, you know, ICP, International Center of Photography. Yes. Yes, now it's I do. Like the, me like the Mecca, the Mecca of photography in New York. I call like other people, hello? Yeah, no, uh, I'm calling because I just come from the jungle and you got to see this picture. The first time that the woman say, wait one moment, and she transferred the call. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus. And then another woman, another woman answered to me. And she, in the same moment of the call, say one minute again and transfer me for the second person. And this is an 
a man with a voice kind of like Sid is an old man. And I start to, I just come from the jungle, blah, blah. And he's like, Sebastian, where are you? I say, oh, I am in Upper East Manhattan. Oh, you're in New York and you're very close. Why you don't come and show me your work? And I went to that meeting and I didn't know who was at that time, but that was Colonel Kappa. I was <laughs> receiving my Colonel Kappa in front of me. And he spent with me at least two hours watching Jesus. every picture of my work, telling me things like this is one of the most beautiful work I've seen from indigenous people from Latin America, Sebastian. And he was the guy who grabbed the phone in front of me and called the photo editor of all this magazine. I told you, like, like so that was a, that, that was a lucky break. That was that lucky break. No, not yes. lucky, not lucky in the in the sense of like you were persistent, but yeah, well, well, for yeah, one moment, yes, it, go ahead. I always say that lucky is a humble way to say I was lucky, but there is no lucky. It, it, it's the work and the intention and the no, no, no. that create the, the manifestation. The portfolio, look, there is no luck in portfolio. I mean, the, the 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 work has to be there. It's not like you 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 picked up and like if your work is shit, it's you just it's over. No, well, but, exactly. But I mean, like the lucky I, moment I, I'm talking about. Hello, just a second, just a second, and then boom. I boom. mean, in, in that I, in that sense. So that meeting, and I, I think in, in my website, I, I, I just put it in, in the front of, of, of the page of the website because it's, uh, it was like, I mean, I was Colonel Kappa, the founder of ICP, and, and, and he was like, give me these incredible meetings that I have later on with the photo editor of my magazine, Michelle Stephenson that was 14 years in Newsweek, and then this guy, whatever, in life. And I have all this kind of like feedback, and I'm, and I was not looking for a job or this or that. I, I was just learning from this big master, what they were telling. And then I understand what I have. And when I understand what I have, what I did is keep working. Yes. Yes, I mean, then you work, but then you work knowing what you have and that's engage you to keep working. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because that this guy told me you keep working because this work is going to be show and you're going to your work is going to have an influence in, in a generation. Because, they were right. I mean, they were right. And, and imagine me, I'm at 24 years old. I grabbed my camera three years ago. And you have this like shit. It happens. Shit like. It happens. It happens. Listen, yeah. here's the thing. I want to do a little bit of a of a of a, of a thing because uh, it and it's a it's a little game. In thirty seconds, and I'm timing you. Okay, okay. name all of the places that you visited. <laughs> it starts now. Well. Go, I, go. I will go. I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bolivia, Argentina, Uruguay, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Haiti, República Dominicana, México, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, Estados Unidos, Canadá, Bali, India, Birmania, eh, Italia, ah, España, Marruecos. Marruecos. <laughs> okay. I, I, I have a reason why I did this because this is this is going to be uh, uh, yeah the last question for me because you know like I want to kind of like go and, and 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 hug my daughter and I want to leave you to your dogs and and your life and we, we I mean thank you so much for doing this gun to your head pick one place like really like location police comes into your house and they go you choose one or uh, no cake for you forever one place. Hey. But first, tell me how old is your daughter? Sorry, a three. How old? She's three. Oh, she's three! Congratulations, yeah, divine thank you. age. Thank okay, you. okay. My oh. one is twenty-two, and oh. another. Yep, 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 yep. And she's an amazing human activist. And she went to the green school. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 is an amazing place. It's amazing. Well, place. it was um, for sure. It was amazing when it started, but that, that's another story. Well, so I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, it's it's it is what it is. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I yeah, yeah, I've been there a couple of times. I photographed some some stuff there, and uh, it, it is an amazing. You know, like I don't know. I mean, great deal about it because you know, like we're not connected to yeah, that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, going to your point. One be, place here so mexico tepoztlan mexico tepoztlan is the name where i live and that's your home that's your I, base and i and, and yeah i was lucky to buy a house so now you know i have a place on there by the first time after my father passed away and i have some like you know possibility and i wasn't living in bali at that point and i was in bali but you know bali very healthy way they don't sell so capitalism don't take you away from your place, uh, and and this, this, that's a good way that they keep for the ne next generation. Next generation. Very yes, smart yes, way. Yes. Exactly. So when I got that, I said, "Oh, I'm, I cannot do that in Bali. I will. I never felt to be back in." Argentina. You will not own anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You will not. No, have. And I say, I'm gonna go to my hometown. That I, no hometown where I live in 20 years in Mexico before I moved to Bali for four years. I'm gonna go there because my daughter is Mexican and it's good place to buy because it's a good town near the Mexico City. Yeah, and, yeah. but it's it's a place where they create my second family, my soul brother. I played a lot of music. I love to dance, and there's a lot of fantastic cosmopolita, you know, like a like a Bali, like a Bali, and and and, and this place was the place until. I found my other home that was Bali, and and I, I thought I thought I'm never gonna go back here because I already lived 20 years, but because I told you that what happened, sure. uh, I come here to find a home and find a home, put in in a rent or Airbnb and go back to Bali or to whatever destiny. Oh yeah, yeah, but we, I But I, mean, I didn't find a home. I, I find. Yeah, yeah we. I found my home. I know, I know. I I was on the road uh, uh, like the last uh, last five years of my life. My daughter changed probably. Uh, I think she changed uh, forty seven apartments because b before she was one, we were moving for two and a half years constantly, and I realized all of my dreams when it comes to moving. And then by realizing those dreams, I was like, man, maybe somebody can do this. But moving around this much is just not healthy for the soul. You need, I mean, I need that little base, little, that's where my pen is, <laughs> you know, and then moving on, you know, like, I mean, and we're exceptionally blessed to, to be able even to talk about this subject, you know, moving around. Ooh. I mean, a lot of people just don't have the means to do this. Uh, you know, it just, yeah. it is a blessed life, you know, but I, 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 I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, moving I, around I, that great. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But Bali is always my home. Yeah, um, you have too. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but but also, you know, my 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 when my daughter was twelve, they moved there and was the perfect time to live in the same place at at, at that age. She was before in San Francisco, an amazing mother. The mother, she's a. An amazing. She wasn't a, a, an educator. She was uh, like the the best. Sorry, but the best moment of green school was when the mother of my daughter was there. We separated. We are best friend, but she's an incredible, incredible mind and a fantastic uh, thinker. And she she brings that's wonderful. Beautiful thing. You have yeah, a family, yeah, yeah. as I do. And uh, uh, look, man. I mean, once again, you are amazing. I wish you nothing but the best. Oh, and thank I you, hope, thank I really hope that we will meet, you know, like, I mean, if not to photograph yeah. together and do something uh, to have a beer on the beach somewhere, you know, like, uh, yeah. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate this, this conversation. I really enjoyed it. And I'm gonna leave you, you know, to enjoy your your Saturday or whatever. Say hello to your family. Yeah. I I uh, I hope to come to Mexico at at some point because I mean that is just uh, it's one of the dreams you know of mine to 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 see this country and and uh, and meet the people. 
So uh, hopefully, you know, like our our roads will connect and we'll definitely stay in touch. So thank you, Sebastian, for your time. And, uh, and I will see you soon, man. Absolutely. We keep in touch, bro. We got it. Uh, thank you, brother. And then, yeah, uh, terima kasih. Sama sama. Love, so. sama sama pak. <laughs> <laughs> and have a nasi goreng for me, please. I will. I will. I, I'm gonna order it today. We're going to the beach. Where it's just like you know, in time Corona, just a luxury. They opened up the the, the first uh, beach in Bali, so we're gonna take our daughter and uh, I will I will order nasi for you. I'll send you the pictures. <laughs> <laughs>